Hey everybody, welcome to uh, this little video I'm going to make here. Uh, for those who are big into ergonomics and uh, uh, having flexibility in your work, um, you might have moved into a stand-sit desk lately so you can sit and stand. As you can see here, we have a frame of the Jarvis stand-sit desk, motorized one. Uh, it's upside down as you can see. Um, and I love this desk uh, a lot and in my new uh, work collaborating space I wanted to have that stand sit desk um, and be able to move it around as you can see the top isn't on it right now that's why it's upside down just on the floor um, and so I just want to show you how simple this is guys if you're in love with your desk but want to be able to have a mobile suit uh, solution be able to move it around a little bit uh, how basic it is so uh, what I did here is I wrote down the basic things that you need. Let me show that to you. So to do this project, it's very simple. You need four three inch casters uh, with locks. I got the rubber ones so that they're, instead of the hard plastic, a lot smoother and nicer. You can see it right there. Okay, and there's the lock on it. Um, you need four of an M8 uh, 1.25 times a 25 millimeter length cap screw. I'll show you uh, where that goes in. You need four uh, three quarter inch blocks that are three by two in size, wood blocks, plastic block, doesn't really matter. You need 16 of a number 10 three quarter inch screw size. Um, that's what I use and it worked really well. Three quarter inch spade bit uh, or another kind of three quarter inch bit uh, can work too, I'll show you. Five sixteenth uh, inch drill bit and a one eighth inch drill bit. So uh, let me show you how these come into play now. Uh, right over here, I'll start. And you see this is the leg that comes with it to, to level your desk. So if you unscrew this, take that off, this hole right here is that nut will fit that hole. And that was the, hang on, I don't have it memorized. That was the M8 1.25 25 millimeter screw. And as you can see, it threads right in nice and easy. So that's the size that you want. All right, and the length that you want uh, that I gave you on that sheet. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a wood block, and uh, this is one of my wood blocks that I've already made. Okay, and where I said that you use the uh, three-quarter inch spade bit, that's to go in right here to drill that hole right there. Okay, and you want to do that so that you can recess the head of that nut because that's going to go upside down against the frame here so you want it recessed so it's not sticking out okay uh, after you do that hole there for the head of the the bolt then you want uh, I used a 5 16th inch drill bit to make the hole right through which is the thickness of the bolt the screw itself to go through so as you can see this one right here right there is the block there's the bolt it's recessed in nice and flat if you can see See that? It's right underneath there, so nothing will touch it. Okay, and uh, I put that on there and bolted it right in. It screwed it in nice and tight, as you can see. Okay, so once you got that thing nice and tight in there, then you use that uh, one eighth inch drill bit to take your block. And all I did is I took my caster, kind of squared it up in the middle there like that, and then I drilled my holes in there so that when you put your screw in there it doesn't crack it so that's what it looks like right there okay then after you got that squared up then all you do is you take those screws like I said I use those a uh, number 10 three quarter inch screws three quarter inch because you have your wood is three quarter inch thick and you don't want to be drilled that screw tip to be going into your metal frame okay and uh, those bolt right on and now it's you can see how firm that is right I like this because this is easily, uh, uh, you can take this off if you ever want to go and put those factory legs back on. Uh, you know, instead of drilling a new hole in the metal or uh, anything like that, it's nice and level. And uh, so I don't have straps around it or anything like that. And it looks really good as far as functionality. So uh, let me finish putting the rest of these on. I wanted you to show you step by step. And then I'll uh, show you it standing up, up the right way and moving. All right, guys, the, uh, all the wheels are on, and I've flipped the desk over now. It is standing up the right way. And uh, as you can see, that's the top where you would uh, mount your top to. Uh, all the electronics are off of it right now at this point, of course. Um, but these are what they look like on the bottom, the casters. 
And these are the three inch, remember, locking rubber casters with blocks. So you can see the blocks there. Now you could paint those blocks, you know, sharpen up a little bit uh, if you want to and whatever. But you can see, now this is a, a wood floor here, and you can see how easily it rolls around. Nice and quiet because of the rubber. So you can easily move this thing anywhere you want and then uh, lock the casters up. I would tell you that these are the three inch. I would not try to save money and go with a smaller caster. Um, the three inch is about as small as you want to go. They can handle a good weight on them. I think they're rated for like 80 pounds a piece if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if anything, you could go larger if you need to have, uh, um, I don't, honestly, I don't know why you would want to go larger, but sometimes people like larger. So the three inch is really kind of nice. So, but there you go, guys, easy project and, uh, to put your stand desk on wheels. All right.